Hello everybody, this is Greg29407, back with another edition of Shroud of the Avatar. Well, here we are with Killdozer, and today we are in the town of Braemar, which is up in the uh, Hidden Vale area near Owl's Head. And this is a, a, a very old town. Um, it's a, one of the original towns that they had built. Um, right now it is, is kind of a clone of Soul Town, uh, which of course is one of our starting areas. And I believe it is going to be getting rebuilt at some point uh, in the next couple of months. But right now it looks just like Soul Town. Uh, I'm here because there are quite a few uh, missions that are in this map that um, they've been in the game for a really long time. In fact, I think they may be some of the, the first missions in the game. And uh, you can kind of tell because they were trying some different things and what works, what doesn't work, how you can have uh, uh, missions that involve several different maps where you have to travel back and forth. So there are a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, testing things going on with these missions. Uh, I want to go over them, though, because there are five missions that are still in the game. Uh, they're here, located here in Braemar, and one of those is now a um, is now one of our banner missions. So yes, it's a, it's a nice improvement. We can now get the uh, banner of humility from doing one of these missions. So we're going to do that. We're going to we're going to do all five missions today, and uh, we're going to kind of knock them out as, as as quickly and as efficiently as possible. They all involve uh, the Hidden Vale area, which is where we're at now. Uh, they'll be at Braemar, Kingsport, Owl's Head, and Owl's Nest. And uh, we'll knock out all of these. And we'll take a look and see how they go. So let's uh, go. We're right outside the entrance here. Let's uh, enter the, the town proper. And I got a little map here so you can kind of, if you've been to Soul Town, as most people have, you'll notice, oh, this looks so familiar. It's a fairly small town. Um, but I do like the, the, the basic layout for it, the little, little um, middle village and that kind of thing. So we'll head on in here. I'm pretty sure all the lots are taken. Again, this is a small town. This is one of the ones that uh, a lot of uh, older players got their start in. And I remember doing some of these missions back before Persistence. So it goes back way, way when, back when. And uh, back then, you know, I'd, I'd play like maybe one day every couple of months. And uh, I'd have to start a new character because they, they wiped for the previous time, which is good because I didn't remember anything for the previous time I'd played. And uh, they'd, put, they'd start you off in a different place in the map where they wanted to test things out and you try some different things. And, eh, okay. I'll try again next month or a month after that. <laughs> see if they've made improvements. And, and that's how it went for quite a while. But uh, So I do remember some of these missions. But let's, uh, let's take a look at them. So there are five missions in here. And uh, the first one I want to go over here, here's the, uh, the banker and our town crier. And there are 30 lots here, and they're all taken. But I'm going to edge right over here, behind this first building, next to the sheep. And there's a guy back here named Bowden. I want to talk to him. And he's a trainer, but he's also just a, a guy that's going to, uh, he's asking for some help. So let's see. Uh, there's a dangerous wolf pack in the Veilway. Oh, the South Veilway is another place we're going to go, by the way. Uh, if you're up for some hunting. I haven't been out hunting since the night we were, were looking for Seamus' family and the others that were taken. Thought we could hunt those things down like any other beast. Track them north of here until we started to, to stop and make camp. Once we found a suitable site, I scouted ahead a bit while Baymor went out for kindling. We left the others to pitch the tents. By the time I got back, there was nothing but pools of blood, the broken body of Colin, and the tattered remains of our campsite. Colin was one of the last of our clan, a quiet sort. He had plans to marry Abella, but the attack that took Vaymore ensured that will not happen. I will speak no more of this. Okay, well, let's click on wolves here. Here we go. I got something on my journal. Uh, there's a lot we can learn from these wolves. Natural hunters they are. They've grown mean of late, though, and from lack of prey just north of here, there's a particularly vicious pack led by a cunning she-wolf. If you can bring her down, I will reward you. So here we go. So kill the wolf pack leader. That's our mission. Mission number one. Let's come back out here. And of course, if you're familiar with uh, Soul Town, you know this is like the little, uh, the little inn. Well, let's go to this house right over here instead. And there's a lady sitting here. Good day to you, friend. Let's see what her name is. This is Bridget, wife of Vimor. Vimor is the most handsome man in the village with eyes so green they sparkle like emeralds, and he is such a good provider for us. I beg your pardon, but could you help me with something? 
Perhaps you could find news of my husband, Vimor. He was last seen up north near West Ravenswood. I know it's a dangerous place, but do you think your travels would take you there? I'm hoping you can find him and you can let me know he's safe. So I'm going to be a nice guy and say, I'm going to make sure he'll say he's safe. Bowden said that he found Vimor's quiver just off the road in West Ravensmore, Ravenswood. If it's, too much if it's not too much trouble, do you think you might keep an eye out for him and tell him his wife, Bridget, cares for his safety? I wrote this request in my journal. So, find Vimor. Now, this mission is the banner mission. It didn't used to be. They just added the banner to this. So, we're going to... This is a really easy one. We're going to go up there. We're going to find Vimor. We're going to get a banner for it. So, it's going to be great. So, that's mission number two that we're going to do. We're just going to load them all up here and then, uh, then knock them out. Okay, let's go into the, the nightclub here, or the bar. And let's see. I don't think the barkeep has anything for us. This guy, though. Welcome to the Braymore Inn and Tavern. Best ale in all the Vale. What can I help you with today? We've been quite short on ale of late, which is not a very good place for a fine establishment to be. Short on ale. We have fireweed ale, blah, blah, blah. Mainly we haven't gotten any real ale from Kingsport in weeks now. If you get to Kingsport, could you ask the innkeeper there why we haven't gotten any ale shipments in the past few weeks? I know there have been some wolves and occasional undead along the road. <laughs> because, of course, there's always just the, the random undead. <laughs> but this is ale we're talking about. Uh, if you can let me know whether they're running dry, I'd be grateful. So here's the next one. Find out why Braymore has no ale. All right. Mission number three. Now let's see. Let's talk to this lady. Welcome to the ta tavern. My name is Abella, and I work for Brewmaster Flynn Gibson. Who's that last guy we just talked to? Uh, let's see. Can I help? Well, if you're not too busy, can you check on my friend Kelly? Well, I haven't. I had heard since she left Braymar, she had been seen in the company of bandits. I hope that's not true. You may want to ask Bowden about it. He may know more. Bowden's the first guy we talked to, so we had to go back and talk to him again. So, talk to Bowden about Karen, about Corn. Oh, talk to Bowden Corn. All right. So that's uh, mission number four. Let's go back out here. And let's talk to this guy. Yikes, that was loud. Sorry about that. This guy's name is Jared. And as people were I used to be with the bandits. Not much point of hiding it. In case it slipped your attention, the town this town is doomed. The undead, blah 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 blah. So he's a he's he's kind of a downer. Well, if you really want to do me a favor, there's a delivery I could use help with. There's a group of friend of mine. There's a group of friends of mine. Some call them bandits, I suppose. They're holed up in a cave called the Owl's Nest. I managed to find a keepsake for one as a favor, but given all the dangers on the road, I'm not in any hurry to take it back to him. However, if you could, in, or if you are up in that direction, find the largest of them. He calls himself Black Pond, and tell him you have his dagger. He'll reward you with it for, and blah, 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 blah. All right. So, now here's the thing, though. This mission... Uh, He's giving me a, bone, a dragon bone dagger. Does not show up on our little mission list here. And if we look in our journal of current tasks, kill the wolfback leader, Vimor, Braymore has no ale, and Bowden Gordon. It does not show up in our journal either. But it does, but it is a mission. It's an ongoing mission. It doesn't show up in either one of those two spots. So that's kind of an, an error in the game's thing. Because if we go on here in our inventory we'll see that we have the dragon bone dagger. Now, the only problem is that we can forget that we have this mission because it doesn't show up anywhere. And when I first did this mission, I forgot the guy's name we were supposed to find. It's Black Pond, but I couldn't remember that. But it's easy to spot when you go to the to the place. So that's our five missions we're going to do. So uh, let's first of all, let's talk to this Bowden guy again about Kelly. Kelly, I would be interested in word from her in Kingsport if you knew of any. I've heard the gossip of her falling in with bandits, but I assure you that is mere idle chatter. 
So we have to now ask about Kelly and Kingsport. So let's first, we're gonna do this very efficiently. Uh, we're gonna to go to the South Vale Way and you find the leader of the pack because that's the right outside this uh, the gates of Braemar. And then I think we're gonna to go to um, the other uh, uh, Ravenswood place to find Vimor. And then we'll go to Kingsport and Owl's Nest and we'll have to do it go from there. So sometimes you can do these missions in bulk like this and uh, it saves a lot of time. And then you get to watch me run across the map really slowly. So I'll try and do some editing as we go through so it won't be all me running around. Okay, so we're, we're outside of Brain War, and South Veilway is, I believe, a Tier 1 mission or map. So here, here it is right here. Yeah, Tier 1. So this is going to be really easy. For a while, this was a, a starting area for, for the game. You could start here uh, before they had all the, the, the quests and everything in. This was a Braemar and, and Alice River starting area. So this, this map right here is really, really convenient. I remember, I think one of the first times I ever played this game, it wasn't the first, I was in Soul Town then, but one of the first iterations of me playing the game, I ended up on, on this map. I ran around this in circle. North of here is, um, in this map, are a bunch of spiders and stuff, but these are all wolves down here. And uh, I remember running around in circles on here trying to get some XP. And I didn't know what the tiers were, so I just said, I'm just going to stay here until I can kill everything really easily. <laughs> now, if I wanted to get some, uh, some mounted heads for my basement where I have... This guy lived and I would do that, but I don't need to. Wolf pack leader. Here we go. This is the she-wolf. I'll make this pretty fast. Okay, so we are going to skin her. Animal hide wolf carcass. That's all we get on there. That's going to be enough, believe it or not. Because somehow... That Bowden guy's gonna know that we did what we were supposed to do. I'm not quite sure how. Not quite sure how. So let's head out of here. And I believe that in that we need to go to West Ravenswood to find Vimor. which is right next door. Okay, Deep Raven's Wood is the hard one, one to do. That's, that's the challenging one. I think it's over in this rest wave, West Raven's Wood. A tier two. Now, when I first did this mission recently, I went all over, I tried to get fancy. I went all over the map looking for, for this guy, looking for Vimor. And uh, I ran all the way around. You can see the map down here. I went down here. I mean, I found a bunch of skeletons and I fought all these guys. I was looking under, through all the nooks and crannies, all the rocks and everything. Turns out he's right straight ahead here. I pass these bears. In fact, you can see his tent right over there. And I found him by coming all the way around the map from the other side. I said, oh, there's this guy. What's he doing over there? Oh, he's alive. <laughs> I thought he was dead. <laughs> oh, sorry, Vimor. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's talk to him. Well met, stranger. I'm going to say, Bridget's worried about you. I should say, are you Bridget's idiot husband? <laughs> She's worried about you. Please, if you find yourself near Braemar again, do let her know I survived and still think of her fondly. I will return to her as soon as I am able. 
okay, I don't know why he's not able to now. Just come back with me now. But my mission's changed to ask... Oh, never mind. Um, talk to Bridget is what it's changed to. So instead of find Vidmore, now talk to Bridget. So that's pretty much it on that one. That's That was kind of a, a non-starter. But just finding the guy. Wolf versus bear. Okay. So let's um let's go back to Braymar first and turn in these two. And that'll be two missions completely down. Because we're right next door anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So I will edit this out and I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, we are back in Braemar. Let's go talk to Bowden. About the leader of the pack. Here we go. Let's see. Wolf. There we go. I heard you managed to hunt down the leader of the wolf pack and that she was scaring the townsfolks here. You've done a good thing and we were all grateful. So I got 3,000 XP. Now, I'm in the middle of a, a double XP week right now. So all my XP, this uh, is going to look really, really fantastic here. So um, normally I think you would get 200, uh, 12, uh, 1,500 XP, but this time I got 3,000. So we're gonna, this is going to look fantastic. Look like this like Braemar is a gold mine here. But um, this is just for double XP. So we took care of that. Now let's go inside the building and talk to Bridget. Still seated. I found V Moore. He's safe. She gave me three thousand as well, and the banner of humility. So that's really good. So we can we can add that to our uh, um, to our basement uh, area where I've got all my all my other souvenirs. And uh, oh, you found V Moore and he's alive. Thank the stars above. I mean, yes. Well, I have much to do before he returns home. I am certain he'll be home as soon as he is able. I don't know why he doesn't just uh, doesn't go home. He's right next door. Or send her a message or something. I don't know. Anyway, so that's two down. And uh, now notice we still have some stuff in here. Talk to Bowden, Corin, and uh, find Vmore. This has suddenly popped back up again. Find Vmore. We've just done that. Um, what you're going to notice as we do these missions is this thing gets all messed up. Now, hopefully at the end, they'll, they'll all magically fix themselves. But for a while, this, this little message thing up here is just in terrible shape. All right. So I am now going to head over to uh, Kingsport because we need to do two things. We need to talk to the innkeeper over there about why there's no ale in Braemar. And we also need to ask about Kelly. So I'm gonna head over there and uh, I will be right back. And we are back. I am now in the town of Kingsport and uh, this is a really nice town. I really like this a lot. This came through the entrance. Uh, it's very much a, a ship area, shipping area. Um, if you've ever been to the town of Port Graff up in Drockvald, that was a, a clone of this town, and they, they've redone that and made it even more uh, ship-like, even more like that. And uh, they have a lot more wood and everything, and, and I, I like that one even more than Kingsport. I think it, it looks even more authentic than, than this town does. Um, in fact, uh, Port Graff is the only town, NPC town in, in Drockvald that's actually full. Um, it's a small town. I think there's uh, only 37 lots here. Um, and all, all 37 lots are full here as well as in uh, Port Graff. Port Graff is just, it just really is neat looking. If it was closer to anything else, it'd be much better. But uh, so we got two things we need to do here. Uh, first thing we need to do is go into the inn, and, uh, which is right here, and talk to the innkeeper about why there's no ale in Braemar, why there have been no shipments. So let's talk to this guy. Now he's going to give us a lot of information about uh, Kingsport and some internal goings on with their mayor and the and the Merchants Guild and things like that. All of that used to be involved in part of uh, some some quests and things, which I don't think are even in the game anymore. Um, so we're just going to kind of bypass a lot of that stuff and, and just get to, straight to the thing. So uh, okay, this is his 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 inn. He's very proud of it. Hosted royalty before. Uh, let's click on Ale. Coming right up, my new friend. Here's the thing. 
this is he's not very helpful when it comes to uh, to give us any answers. I, I clicked on a lot of things, I couldn't figure it out. Um, so Anton is uh, he's a potential smuggler, and they talk about all this stuff. We're gonna skip all that. So what you need to do to type in here is uh, was it shipping? No. Oh, what was it? Uh, oh, shipments. I don't know if you type in ale or smuggling or Braemar or anything like that. He doesn't know what you're talking about. But if you type in the word shipment, all of a sudden he sings like a canary. Ah, yes, Braemar and Owl said need ale. Well, so do we, my friend. And now we're dependent on the broken anchor for all the, our imports. That's the, the group of smugglers, friendly smugglers. And the price of those is quite dear. You... Whoops. You cut me off. Uh, let's see. Price is quite dear. You will have to tell my friend Thomas that there is little that I can do for him now. My apologies, Outlander. Now, if you were to talk to Anton over at the docks about solving the problem, he may hear you out. But remember, everything has a price. So now I talk to Anton. Now, he mentions somebody named Thomas. Now, we don't know anybody named Thomas. And that had me confused for a while. But uh, we'll get to that in a minute. Because the, the guy that, that ran the inn in Braemar was named Flynn. Now, all these people are involved in some other quests that I think are maybe removed or like just go find some of my friends and they don't really go anywhere. So we'll skip that. This guy's Anton. Hello, you wish to speak? I heard. I am Anton, the leader of the import company. Please ask your questions. We have a little to hide here. Uh, let's see. Some people know us as smugglers and bandits, but I tell you, we, we have great risk sailing the mainland and back to for goods, king boards, yeah, whatever. So um, the Merchants Guild could do the same. So he's competing against the, the local Merchants Guild, which are maybe corrupt. The head guy's corrupt, and this guy's performing a service, and he does a lot of hard work uh, trying to get in stuff in the mainland. So that's all very interesting. Um, but again, what we need to do is type in shipments. Ah, yes, Owl's Head and Braemar need ale. As you have, may have gathered, stranger, this is one of those problems that we have found our niche in solving. Please inform the good barkeep Thomas, again, that Anton of Kingsport has a solution to his empty tra tap. The rate will be dear but fair and everyone will profit. Including, I presume, you, though that profit is up for, you, for the purchaser, by which I mean Thomas will need to pay you and me, I am in the business of being paid, not paying. Now, Thomas is the innkeeper in Owl's Head. So, here we go. No, see, he doesn't tell us that. Um, I think I figured that out from the journal. Let's see. Yeah, Anton, the leader of Kingsport Smugglers, has offered to provide beer to the Fire Lotus Tavern in Owl's Head, similar to how he imports ale for the Kingsport Tavern. I am to inform Thomas, the Owl's Head bartender, that Anton of Kingsport has a solution for his MB taps. So, all of a sudden, we've ignored Braemar, but we're talking to this Thomas guy we've never met before. So, now we got to go to Owl's Head as well. So, oh yeah, let's ask about, um, we have another thing we got to do here. We got to ask about Kelly. Ah, yes, I remember who you speak of, a Miss Kelly Hayward of Braemar, to be precise. Full of anger and promise and a habit of, of fighting when words failed. Didn't really work out with my organization. We run a tight ship, as you understand. If you were to visit a nest of a more, less restrictive group, you may find where she is currently. So if we look up here, find a nest of bandits. And then it says, Owl's Nest, perhaps, when I put my cursor over it. Wow, look at that. Hmm. Oh, look at that. When I put the cursor over the Thomas of, uh, thing. Thomas is the innkeeper of Fire Lotus Tavern Owls. Oh, that's kind of helpful. Huh, okay. So, Kelly may have actually fallen in one of those bandits. And, and we could ask other people here in town about her, too. But it basically tells us the same thing. So, Owl's Nest... We need to go to to take care of this Kelly issue, and Owl's Head. We needed to go to take care of the uh, uh, the 
lack of ale issue. And on Owl's Nest, we also have to take care of that dagger issue, which we keep forgetting because I keep forgetting because it's not in my journal anywhere. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and exit out of here and we will head over to Owl's Nest and we'll be right back. Okay, we are back. We just left Kingsport and we're head over to this Owl's Nest. This is a little tiny adventure scene with a, with a cave in it. And uh, Owl's Head's over here. Uh, south of this is Kingsport and Braemar's way down here. Just to, to give you a perspective on where we're at. Oh yeah, I got a map down here too. So you can kind of tell from the map where we're going. Sorry about that. <laughs> so again, we have two things to do here. We need to find Kelly and we got to give that dagger back to that guy. Now the, there's a very short little run up to get to the, the cave here, but it's full of spiders. And I remember doing this when I was a very low level character too. And uh, these spiders are tough. When those spiders are all yellow or orange to you, yikes. This is a tier three adventure area, but this is, a, this is the tiniest adventure area I've ever seen. We just crossed the entire adventure area. That was it. That was the entire adventure area right there. It was tiny. But, um, you know, again, I think this is one of the first maps that they actually did for the game. So they were really kind of testing, well, what can we get away with? How do we, you know, how do we create the map? How do we do this? Does it look right? That kind of thing. So this is what this is an early, early version. So we're in the Owl's Nest Mine. Now, there's no reason to fight in here for this mission. We don't need to, so let's let's try not to need to. And it's not really a big cave either. It's it's decent size. So I see a guy's name right here. Oh, they're both right here. Black Pond and Kelly Hayward. Wow, okay. Let's talk to this guy first. What do you want? Dagger. Dragon Bone Dagger. I got 6,000 XP. Now, normally it would be 3,000, but again, double experience for me. So uh, that's the end of that one. Goodbye. Okay. Now let's talk to Kelly. What do you want from me, Outlander? I have certainly nothing I can help you with. If you find yourself heading to Braemar, would you mind delivering a message to Bowden? I don't have much to offer except this keepsake dagger, but it's yours if you bring back word from him. Tell him that you bring news from, from Kelly. Okay. So I'm going to go back and deliver this message. And notice I still have to find an S advantage, which I've already done. Talk to Anton, which I've already done. So anyway, uh, ask about Kelly and Kingsport, which I've already done. So we now have this Kelly mission to finish up and the uh, Owl's Head thing. So let's go back up there. Let's go right back the way we came. This is probably the first uh, underground cave, too, in the game. I, I don't know that for a fact, but it may be. It's, it's a fairly small cave, and uh, I remember I used to come down here and you could fight these guys. I guess you still can, but I remember it being tough. There's some skeletons down there, too. But uh, again, I think, I think it's an early test map. All right, let's get through all the spiders. Again, we are looking at the, the entirety of this adventure, this Tier 3 adventuring area. There's the entrance we came in. But I'm going to be bold and go through the other entrance, which is right here. <laughs> so the two entrances are, are within sight of each other. Now what I want to do next is go over to Owl's Head and try to see if we can wrap up the uh, missing ale story. Because that is the closest thing for us. But yeah, they had, they had created this, this uh, hidden veil area first before they did anything for Novia. So this was the entirety of the game for quite a while.
Let's see if we can get in the owl's head. Yeah, we'll keep our fingers crossed here. There's a, a, a pesky bug in the game that uh, for some players, including myself, sometimes you hit 98% and you get stuck. You can't get in the owl's head. It's, it's just owl's head. I don't know why that is. Um, it worked yesterday, so maybe, it, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Ah, we're in. Good, good, good. All right. So let's go to the inn. This is one of the, the bigger cities in the entire game. It's a very popular area. Um, but I think it's, but again, it's, it's one of the older ones. And, and my understanding is that there's some kind of software thing or something. I don't know. But uh, there are quite a few is that they get, you just get stuck. And uh, what, sometimes what you have to do is, sometimes you can go through the other entrance. If you have that on your list, you can, the other entrance will sometimes work, um, from what I understand. Uh, sometimes what I'll do is I will teleport to someone who's already here. That works usually, but not always. Uh, other times I've, I use the, the Lunar Rift. You have to wait an hour until it comes around and you use the Lunar Rift to get in here. So it's like a real hassle. But again, that's one of those deep down bugs that's just so weird that it's, it's probably drives me crazy trying to figure out how to, how to solve it for everybody. All right, let's go into this inn. This must be Thomas. Thomas Strongbeard, yep. All right. Ale. Oh, I don't want to buy ale. Let's type in help. Okay, didn't like that. Let's go with Anton. No. Oh, keep the tap stocked. There we go. Well, that's troubling news, Outlander. So Kingsport has it worse than we do? These are indeed dark days that a man can't even get a proper leg or lagger reliably. However, if, as you say, this Anton fellow is how Abbott is keeping the tap stocked in Kingsport, well, then that's what needs to be done. And he gave me 6,000 XP for that. So 3,000 normally. And it cleared off two of my things up here. So that's good, but not the final part of the story. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Braemar. Because remember, this whole, this whole storyline started when uh, the bartender in Braemar, Flynn, asked us for help. So we needed to give him some information too. So I will be back in just a minute. Okay, we are back in Braemar. Let's first of all I'll talk to Bowden again and give him the message from Kelly along with that, that dagger she gave us. Go around the corner here. Here he is. Sir. There we go. All right. So I'm just going to type in Kelly. Ah, it's good to hear Kelly is alive, and these days alone, that is a comfort. Please, if you find yourself back in the owl's nest, let her know all is forgiven. She will understand. Okay, so we got to go all the way back up there to tell her all is forgiven. He could have had me tell her that before, but okay. Um, this is one of those areas where, you know, a little bit of editing would help, but okay. Now, before we do that, though, let's go into the, into the bar here and talk to Flynn about uh, Anton's deal with the beer, or the ale. Oh, it's not him. He's not working too hard. Let's see here, okay. Ale. There we go. Kingsport isn't getting any ale either. These are odd days of our little tavern exports, blah, 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 blah. Uh, We'll either survive on our own for a while, we can continue a while longer. Perhaps I should talk to that Anton fellow if I'm ever in Kingsport. I got 6,000 XP from him, again, double XP. Uh, so that's pretty good money for us, pretty good XP. All right, so that, that took care of four of the five missions. Now you go all the way back up to Owl's Nest again. Ay, 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 okay. 
So that's four. Oh, before I do anything else, though, let me run over here. Um, as if you're familiar with Soul Town, you know there's always this graveyard over here, and there's actually a mission there where you go in the graveyard at night and and uh, try and find the the guy who killed that lady's daughter. And uh, in this particular, again, this is a basically a clone of Soul Town. They also have a cemetery over here. Um, they don't have this. They don't have the Soul Town catacombs though. But what they do have is this right here, which is the uh, uh, pain and suffering thing. Compendium of Pain and Suffering. And this is a pretty well-known uh, challenge area. If you go in there, you want to take a group of, of players, uh, you want to be higher level, and there's a whole series of, of challenges and waves of enemies and things like that. This is one of the, the, fir the first versions of, like, not really raid stuff, but kind of, you know, group activities that he had in the game. Uh, they've recently updated it and made it even tougher and, and more variety to it using some new techniques that they've learned. Uh, so right here is, is where you want to go for that kind of thing. Um, I, I sat on one of these things once a long time ago, and it was really hard. Um, I wouldn't cut out for it. And I'd certainly I'm not going to go in there alone. So, um, But anyway, this is the site of the cemetery, so as a Soul Town player, you'll know where that's at. Um, same location. All right, so I am going to head back up all the way, all the way back up there to Owl's Nest because I'm, I'm now the, somehow the, the official post office of uh, the Hidden Vale, and I, I got to pass messages back and forth, but uh, I will be back in just one minute. Okay, we're back in the Owl's Nest uh, caves underground, looking for Kelly. I think she usually stays in the same spot over here. Here we go. You need to tell her that all is forgiven. Let's say Bowden says all is forgiven. 15,000 XP! Woo! Man! Alright! Let's see what it says. Uh, thank you for the news, stranger. It is a small comfort, but comfort nonetheless. Here, take this dagger. I need it not, nor the memories it contains. I think you'll find it effective. Memories tend to be sharp. Bowden Corin was my father's best friend. After my parents died from the fever that swept through Braemar, he took me in like I was his own. He didn't take my decision to leave the village very well. He said if I left, I was on my own. Well, apparently they've made up. So, uh, that's pretty good. Now, let's check. Now, I, I, when I first started today, I had 617,000 XP. And now I'm at 656. So, wow, that's almost 40,000 XP. Now, again, it's double experience week for me, so I double that. But still... You can go in here and in about, of course, of less than an hour, you can get 17,000 XP. And it's all low-level stuff. So, you know, if you're a high-level guy, who cares, right? But if you're a fairly new player and you can make up here to uh, this area of the map, you know, that's that's easy money right there. Easy XP right there. So um, I would suggest doing, like, the, the original missions in the starting areas. Come up here, knock out these pretty quick, go back to the starting areas, and uh, that, that's all to your benefit. Um so anyway, that's going to do it for us. That's uh, that's that's all five missions. And uh, we still have Fine Veemer on here. I don't know. I cleared all the other things off. That one's still up there for some reason. I don't get it. Anyway, uh, so anyway, that's going to do it. Until next time, this is Greg29407, along with Killdozer. And uh, Killdozer likes uh, Kelly Hayward uh, saying au revoir. And we will see you next time.